Liar by Justine Larbell Easter is full of dirty, 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 dirty lies. Lies. If this book lies to the reader so many times, and I should have honestly expected it because it's titled Liar, and it's about a compulsive liar. And basically, what happens is that, like, her boyfriend, but her not boyfriend, it's complicated. He dies or gets murdered. Again, we don't know. The narrator is a liar. And so I ordered it on Thrift Books because I was like, yeah, that sounds cool. A book where the narrator is a compulsive liar and you don't really know what's going on. Yeah, that sounds fun. That sounds dandy. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. And you know what? I'll give it that much. It was super, super interesting for, like, the whole first half of the book, right? But the main problem with this book is that the biggest lie this book tells you and then commits to for the second half of the book completely changes the genre of the book. Like, I don't, I don't want to spoil it because I do actually want people to read this book. I'll get to that in a second. But I felt so betrayed at the lie that had occurred at the exact middle of the book I literally threw my book onto the desk that I was at and I went, no. And I kind of had to go take a little walk because I had to cool down from the betrayal, the utmost betrayal that I felt when I got to that part. And so I took like a 20 minute break from it and then I was like, you know what, Let, let's just see because she is a compulsive liar. Maybe this is just another one for lies. But then you keep reading and a lot of the truths that she told you in the beginning make a lot more sense with this betrayal genre bending lie that she tells you and I, I can't get over that like I legitimately have not felt this much legitimate like emotion for a book like the emotions of betrayal and distrust I legitimately felt betrayed by this book and then you kind of get past that sort of uh, betrayal and that anger and you get used to it because you're like yes she's a compulsive liar okay like I'll accept this genre bending truth I'll accept it just to keep the story and the narrative going and by the time you get to the end whew, this is this is this liar by Justine Larbalister uh, this is a roller coaster and, and that's really just what I want to discuss with this book is is a book good if the plot is bad but you still feel exhilarated after you're done reading it <laughs> because personally even though the plot in the utmost betrayal at during the middle of the book that should make this book an automatic like one star, put, throw it on a bookcase that I'll never see again kind of book. But the emotions that I felt and the adventure I felt like I went on trying to figure out when she was lying, when she was telling the truth, uh, if any of these outlandish lies are actually true, that makes it a good book for me because it suddenly makes it into more than a book. It makes it into an experience. So the actual plot of A Boy Gets Murdered, the narrator is a compulsive liar, it's a little weak, especially when you do get to that genre bending part and you're just like, okay, the author just wanted to fill another like 10 chapters, so she made up this outlandish lie for us to follow along with. But it, again, it's just an experience. So surprisingly, given the fact that I hated it while I was reading it, now that I've kind of had like a week to settle down from it, I think I want to recommend this book. Should you believe the whole genre bending mic drop in the middle of the book? It's up to you. From what I read on the author's sleeve, uh, the author is a fantasy writer. So it's not out of the author's experience to write an urban fantasy. And that's what it turns into during that mic drop truth in the middle of the book. But again, it's a psychological thriller. She's probably lying. Or is she? Again, we don't know. There's no truth to liar. So the lack of truth to liar and even the lack of a simple plot definitely hurts the book. But it's still fun. I mean, if your idea of fun is anguish and betrayal at every little step of the way, yeah, that's what this experience is. So that is my review of Liar by Justine Larbalister. Are you interested in reading this book at all? What are your thoughts about it? Or better yet, do you have any other book recs for me? Do you have another psychological thriller that maybe hopefully holds a little bit of truth and a base to it. Please leave your comments down below. If you want to join Mad Books or the Madness, feel free to subscribe to this channel and I will see you guys in the next video. It will go in my uh, green section that's lacking in green. I don't, I don't pick up very many green books apparently.